I'm Will Weissert, a correspondent with the Associated Press in Havana. Uh, I'm here with my wife, and we're in medical quarantine outside of Shanghai, China. Um, we uh, are here on vacation. We came for a friend's wedding, uh, but we're forced to go to quarantine after uh, being on a flight that went from Havana to Cancun, and then from there on to the United States, and a flight from Newark to Shanghai. The reason we went through Cancun is because there were no direct commercial flights from the United States and to Cuba and vice versa because of the trade embargo. Uh, we were in the airport for only about two hours. Uh, it's pretty interesting because the, with the swine flu there, uh, officials there take your temperature when you arrive, when you leave, they make you sign a form saying that you don't feel sick. Um, we hadn't had any symptoms, we didn't leave the airport. Um, but when we got to China, because we had stamps from Mexico in our passports, we were pulled out of line in immigration, taken to a room with a doctor, uh, and, and forced into, into quarantine. Uh, we actually offered to just get back on the plane and leave the country rather than stay a week in quarantine because we, of course, missed the wedding and we came to their tent. But um, they said, no, there, that wasn't an option. Uh, the only option was quarantine. In quarantine, uh, we're going to have to be here one week. Um, we're in our fourth day now. Uh, they bring us three meals a day. Uh, we are not allowed to leave the room. Uh, the people that deal with us uh, wear uh, the, the has this material, the hazmat suits. So I think if we had to do it over again, we would have just kindly asked the uh, customs officials in the Cancun airport to not stamp our passports, and then we would have been fine with a normal vacation. But uh, as it stands now, uh, there's not much we can do. Uh, we decided to kind of wait until uh, we're released, which hopefully will be 8 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Checking China.